Hello and welcome to a very different how to win casual. This time around I am just watching a demo of myself play. And I just played, so this will be me just commentating and just trying to see how to get better. And I caught the audio right away. So I'm currently going to be playing Sniper on three different maps. And this game has uh, not very many players in it. And I won't be playing this for too long. So Pyro's very strong these days, extremely strong. Here I decided to run to the right hand side to avoid the Pyro's only to get killed by that guy. So you can see my team's a bit all over the place. And then of course as a sniper here it's good to just stand in the, in the back here and wait for your team to go and push and try to help them the best you can but you can see that nobody's actually pushing. We have a medic and a scout that's gonna join up so I just look around and see if I can find anything else and we're loading, running a bit low on time and laggy pyros are very unpredictable and hard to hit for whatever reason uh, so that wasn't very easy so also gonna try to hit the scout of course kills the medic feels bad he's just jumping all over the place can't really hit him i saw a spy of course smg isn't as good of a spy tracer tool as the jirati but it could be so there you go, I know that was a spy I just saw. Now we're currently on overtime. Completely missed the laggy pyro and register as a headshot anyway. It's kind of in a backwards country where if you make a hit, it's a miss, and if you miss, it's a hit. It seems these days, especially on soldiers. I don't know, this last week has just been... See, I hit him directly in the shoulder and he was a no-hitter. For whatever reason. So I'm not sure what, what's up with that. So now more people have joined. Uh, the server so going up here it's very important because if you look at the team i now know that i have a couple of guys with me i have a medic and i didn't know i had the soldier but i have a medic and i have one so we're three and i know that we're three and they're just two right so i would expect that yeah he goes for them and then i'm gonna go for this guy uh, and then i get stabbed so that didn't really go anywhere this guy was smart and it fell back i should have done that but i decided to hold and try and stay so there you go, headshot on that soldier, and there's a laggy pyro that lags whenever it's convenient to not get headshot. It's both a, a blessing and a curse. Then of course, taking this upper area is very useful, you have very long sight lines. And as a sniper, it's very easy to do well as long as you have other people in front of you. Like I have a bunch of guys, I gotta try and hit this guy, but he dies and I survive. So here, I sh making a mistake, I should just jump down on the cart and help push it. I hesitate a bit and there comes say, the entire enemy team. So that was a bit of a mistake. I land a headshot on that pyro. He dies to the medic crossbow bolt. I'm not sure where the medic is, but I die to flames because pyros are anti-healing these days, which is pretty good. So back going back to the front lines, I spotted a spy. And then he's going to be back eventually. Finally landing a headshot, and there's that spy I talked about. Probably heard him. Didn't remember, since I just played this, I do remember hearing him and then turning around. And this is what I'm talking about, holding the high ground and like going forward and attacking and stuff. So here's a soldier with me, here's a heavy. Scout in the back. SMG him down as well. And this is so crucial. We're in a position now where holding this higher area is very important. I have a medic uh, or what do we have? Yeah, we have the medic and the spy and heavy down there, and it's me in the front. And this pyro gives up the high ground and tries to go away, but he wasn't predictable. He runs in an unpredictable fashion, and now it's really important that I get the heals. So I can continue sniping, but the medic's very busy healing this heavy. Eventually, I do get the heals. We take out down the demo man. We are securing this area, more or less. Just a couple of guys left. And then... He... He, he decides to, to give give up the high ground and go to the low ground. And then the soldier who's good at shooting down follows him. Why? This is what I'm talking about. Like, why would you... Why? I don't, I don't understand. And then I, of course, tried to battle this soldier only with a medic and SMG and I get taken out and we got, wouldn't have gotten swarmed. But we might have had a bigger chance if that fucking fatso didn't leave us. God, what an idiot. And we're gonna try and keep on going. There's only 10 seconds left. I'm trying to battle this scout to the best of my ability. And there's that spy again. And we failed. Boo. And we can blame it all on that heavy. I'm not sure what happened. So then we're defending. And it's currently, I think we're like six or seven at this point on each team. Something like that. 
So as for standing places here, this is a spot that I like to use. Keep in mind though, if you do hide behind the wall and you barely don't spot the outside, the enemy sniper can still see you. And try not to shoot the the woodwork like I just did there. So taking out an enemy sniper, just looking, staying in scope. There's that spy again. He died. I guess Mr. Lags a lot. Hard to hit. And he keeps jumping around like that. So the medic is behind there. I tried to save the medic. I didn't kill him. The guy taking the medic, and now it's just it's just me and a soldier here. Not even a sentry from the engineer. Looking for the soldier, get the kill on him. And then we have to hold this uh, ground here, along with my other soldier friend. That's a spy. I heard something. I heard the spy. Right? Kill him. And yeah, there he is. And of course, he was using the ambassador, so he does take me down. But the important part is that I knew that he was there. He didn't surprise me with like a surprise attack because I did hear him. So there's a spy again. And of course, not having Jurati makes it harder to track if you are not able to do so. But I guess like doing pot shots here and there. So I know that he's around. And oh, hello. There's the spy again. I'm just battling him around my own spawn. I should probably have body shot him a couple of times. I'm slowly running out of ammo with this SMG, so I know he's still here. I mean, he just won't, he won't vanish. So he's probably gonna go for our spawn or something. And then the enemy is coming through the tunnel. I tried to hit this scout a couple of times and eventually misses completely, but it registers as a hit. And then we look, and oh, there's a spy again. There's a sniper, well, he's an easy target. Take him out of the way and then body shot him and then he's gonna back off and then I'm gonna eat a, eat an iron bomber in my face. So here in this game, I'm starting to get a good feel of when this spy guy is going to come because he follows pretty standard uh, spy times uh, and of times to strike and what he does, he doesn't do anything unusual. So that's a little thing you can do after every shot, just do a little turn, look around. It's not enough to turn, you have to actually look and spot for things. So that's important to see as well. Scout there, eats it in the chin, it's a body shot. I think I... I'm not sure if I heard him here yet or not. So we get the kill on the pyro. There's really nothing happening. There's that spy again. Yep, so I know he's here, so I'm just gonna go on a little health pack denial. Something you can do. I'm also using a new crouch jump script that I'm not entirely used to. I'm just checking that out to see if that's worth anything. Mainly to avoid other snipers when I'm just jumping normally. So there we go, I heard heard the spy, I think. And he was there, and then he dies. And this is this is kind of boring, to be honest. I mean, the enemy team is so few. My shots aren't registering. I'm missing. And then I got hit by another sniper that I didn't see. It's probably over there comes a soldier. He should have looked down and killed me in a single rocket. I missed the headshot like a scrub lord. Ugh. God, the miss. Basically, the crouch jump script is that, yeah, charge headshot right in the cheek, and it's like, ah, oh, body shot. You know, body shot. I'm fine, that's a body shot. Dies. Kills you anyway. Miss completely, headshot. Uh, soldiers are the worst. I don't know, as of this week or previous week, soldiers are just a pain. And of course, we saw the, so the spine, of course, you call it out. And then you check where he is. He's probably around here somewhere. You just got to be aware. I'm going to go and grab this health there. And, yep, yeah, there he is. So I'm watching, also I'm watching, watching on the corners on my screen, like you see there. And there he is. Of course he hides himself in the corner and we kill him. Looking for a kill on that guy. There we go, kill the medic. Ground for more spies. We see a scout. We hit, hit him with the melee, but it doesn't register for whatever reason. And there's another sniper who is a tourist. Enjoying the scenery, killing a running scout, missing completely, registering as a headshot. You know, it's backwards country, he misses a hit and the hits miss. Taking a hit on that soldier, and here's the thing, he's now hit me, so if he had 100 or full health, a simple body shot won't kill him. I don't know that, but I'm gonna assume I need more than one body shot. But that was enough to kill him. And there's that spy again. He really wants me dead, and now he's making a big mistake. So here, Spy is here somewhere. So depending on what I do, he can either go away here or he can escape this way. 
What I wouldn't do is go through this wall because that's the ramp I'm gonna use. So guess what this spy does? He goes on the ramp and then he tries to go to the other side and just kill him again. So not the best spy, a bit uh, predictable to say the least. I kill him and at this point I'm really frustrated that there's really no challenge. Like I'm just so not enjoying this game. Scout dies. He's not. He should have been able to kill me there. Lags a lot. Pyro. We're gonna compensate and kill him. I think this is where I died. Maybe. So I'm just looking. I'm standing very, very in the open. And then I die. And I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm gonna go on another server. And uh, then I did just that. So I ended up on a couple of empty. Why wasn't it go away? Uh, ended up on a couple of empty upward servers. A couple of times, then I finally got on a bad water server. So when you're a tryhard like me, you want to spend the set of time just looking around, seeing what they have. Uh, so I already know that they have a heavy, a couple of pyros. And then we see that the heavy's up there. And I always like to start on the left-hand side here and just work my way to the right, like this. So we get the pick on a heavy, and I did see a sniper there, I think. So we also saw the spy, so we know that the spy's there, and if you look in a kill feed, you can see that he's actually killed someone. So that means the spy's on the low ground, and then he got killed, and we saw another sniper with the piss shooter. Which means I don't have to be afraid of him killing me, so we're just gonna do a little cart pushing. Push, 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 push. Medic's not quite giving me overheal, because he's a bitch. Demo man goes flying. There's actually nothing here to stop us from advancing. And what you do is just to hold that W button and you just occupy space in the front. And then we kill some bad sniper and miss some pyro with a headshot. And now we know that there's a sentry around the corner because we did see the pyro get shot. And here we have a medic with the vaccinator and who knows what's up. In fact, headshots when the vaccinator is on doesn't do a lot of damage. It's like 22 or something like that. No, 10. 10 on a headshot. It's not It's not a lot. So I tried to wait until like it had faded and shoot him again, but he just popped another. So that was some good medic plays there. So still moving forward. We have some good momentum. We're basically going to keep going until, until there is no more track, basically. And this medic really has a death wish. I should have been able to get him there, but I missed. But luckily, a spy friend shows out about nowhere and kills him. And then... I'm shooting at stuff here. Teammate's not paying attention. Spy doesn't get anything. Kill the teleporter. Is this looking like a roll? Because it's a roll. That's what a roll looks like, where the enemy team just dies. I heard a spy, but it was a friendly spy. Turning around, I'm also keeping my back against the wall, positioning wiles. Then man goes down, so here. Now, just taking a break. Take a breather. <sighs> Going back into snipe mode, charge that shot, take out a soldier, back into hiding, rinse and repeat. Miss the shot, we're gonna go and look for the long angle. But we did take some damage, Medic heals us for a split second. And then the cart goes away from us. Just a sniper there, and the enemy team isn't really much of a threat at this point. I kind of feel bad, you know? But I need to practice sniping if I am to do well in things later I've been getting invites to so here's a little sniper tip if you watch health packs and stuff you can pick off people going to health packs because people going to health packs usually run in a straight line so killing two AFKs and then demo going for the health pack and then we're just looking see what's up and there's nothing I mean pyro spawn camping and then we decide well anyway better just push the cart to the goal because there's nothing else for us to do there's nothing to snipe nothing to shoot there we go and then most of, you know, like the enemy team does when you lose, they sit down uh, and they make a strategy and then they figure out what they can do differently. I'm just kidding, half of them just left the left the server, is what happened. Because they got rolled. Oh, we lost? Are we going to switch strategies? No, we're going to leave in shame and requeue and hope we don't face good opponents because that's how we get good. And then I get asked to join the other team and there we go, double attack, baby! We're gonna start killing a soldier that didn't have full health for some reason and we take out the other sniper and Keep in mind this team that I've just joined they've lost horribly The last round they've just absolutely gotten destroyed By my, the team I'm now playing against And it seems to me that whatever team I'm on whenever I 
play a class I'm good at seems to be doing well regardless of which team I'm on. So this medic actually eludes me for a bit. I think I countered that I fire at medic three times before I hit. So that's a, that's a one four. So here comes a pyro, jumps up. Never never jump as a pyro to avoid headshots because your uh, upper torso stabilizes and it makes you easier to shoot. Even if you do use a crouch thing, your face is still pretty vulnerable. And then we do a little jump to get up here on the high ground. So a nice little place. Take out that sniper because there was nothing else to shoot. He wouldn't really have been a threat. There's the medic that I want dead. So that was one shot. Two shots. Third time's the charm, baby. And there's the cart. There's the pyro. Body headshots. Misses. Sure. I mean, if you get a headshot, a body shot in the air, just keep using that rocket uh, jetpack. Base jumper isn't a good idea when I'm standing here, but uh, he had no way of knowing that. So I'm assuming he won't be doing that again. So. Now we're looking at what looks like a deja vu here because we are just absolutely destroying the other team because after the loss, the people that remained was like, hey, dude, if we lost, maybe we should play a composition that isn't shit. And a composition that isn't shit is heavy plus soldier plus demo man plus a medic plus whatever else. As long as you can have a couple of power classes, you're good. A lot of people don't seem to know that. Well, there we go. Another roll. This is fun, right? Uh, I love it. This is what most of my TF2 experiences is like. Just winning endlessly against the people who are bad. Because the matchmaking can't pick me up against another good player unless it's a 5 CP map at like 2 a.m. on a Saturday. That's when I get to play like competitive players in pubs and it's a lot of fun because they're really good. But here it's just nothing. Nothing but trash trash gameplay I mean not trash people I mean people can be bad people can be noobs As you can see this is uh, looking awfully like the other game I don't know I died how will we ever oh so then I played a third game and the map was granary with a lot of dudes we just kicked kicked one of those watch my videos guys who was playing engineer I'm not sure what, what they are or what they do so and usually 5CP uh, usually determine the fate determines is determined in the in the first mid fight pretty much. So here I'm looking and nobody's coming my way. So I'd like to go this way first because it gives me a long sight line, so I can do exactly that. And then the guy capping gives me compliment. See a couple of pyros, and then I see a heavy and another sniper. I, I don't think I actually saw the scout on top, but I did feel him now, so I know that he's coming for me. It's so like, do I stay or do I fight? And I thought, like, well, I have a bunch of teammates. Somehow, someone is going to come this way. No, I'm all by myself. Fuck, shit. Well, instead of trying to run away and not escaping, I'm going to stay on my ground and try and maybe headshot him. So I'm just looking at my teammates and seeing what's up. This guy's pretty weak. This guy probably just saw the game or something because he is, he's not very determined. He's very good with the backwards key. Just running... I mean, this is what I mean when I seriously when I say hold W. I mean, there's people like that 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 just doesn't. I mean, they run in a circle. So now the enemy team is capping. I'm like, all right, I can see where this is going. So let's go with the headshot. Bam! Right in the shoulder. I was about to shoot. I missed. And then I'm just looking. There comes a pyro. Just getting quick scope. I'm taking off a lot of health like headshots uh, on classes that pyros are burning is pretty good. Wasting a lot of ammo on a guy who could have shown me that he was a spy instantly. There's still their sniper. I'm not sure if he's good or not. He could be. You never know. So I decided to just help out the scout. And now this is also a good sightline. So how many shots did I use to get the medic? So there we go. I'm gonna try and headshot him. Let's see. Oh no. Friendly helped him. Help me. Miss. Hit. Just working this angle, and I'm keeping an eye on my flank here. And I'm gonna... I know that they're here, so I'm just gonna go and try and... Shoot them. I, I want this medic dead. One! Two! It's the third time! Yes! Third time's the turn, baby! Right, so... That's my story. So now we have a medic here who runs out first, and we got Captain doesn't ever push as... Wait. Captain pushes S too much. Never W. He's still... I'm not sure if he died or something. No, he's still here. Still patrolling the area. He's like one of those NPCs in games. 
So then I go on this side and I note who's going that way. That's very important as a sniper. So you see who goes. We all have heavy fire here. And I actually have some protection now. I have a friend. So I'm just going to go and grab this. And nobody's capping. So if nobody's capping, you can go and cap. So I decide to just lock down this area. I trust my team to look on the other places. And this is very typical. We're like, well, nobody's going to come there. So there we go. We're going to unscope. And oh, there, there's a guy who came just where he was. We got the kill anyway. Here's the pyro. Oh, we're burning. Use the SMG for just chip damage as we retreat. As it is, you don't do as much damage, but you do reliable damage. Whoever you point at will take damage. Maybe not a lot, but he will take some. So I saw that was a heavy up there. And there he is on the low ground. Misses the headshot, but we got double pyros because that's good. Pyro is such a good class now. He's viable like everyone else. I called medic and I got healed. So I'm just, you have no idea how happy I am when that happens. Allows me to relax a little bit when I'm battling this other sniper. I'm gonna help this guy and then this guy right at the front here. This guy named Salt. He's just holding W and just waving his mouse back and forth, which is the dominant strategy these days. You don't have to aim; you just have to be close to the enemy. Of course, I saved my ass there. So then I saw there was a heavy, and we managed to get the pick on him. Still want to be part of this capture because sometimes you never know if you'll be that or not. If your little touch will actually help. Because sometimes they get blocked. Sometimes a crit comes flying. Kills anyone on the point. Of course, one. Two. Three. Fuck. I broke the thing. Maybe four. Yeah, four times the charm, baby. And then my team just decides to attack at any point in time, and we win. I'm also holding my distance right now. I've noticed that when I play, I have a habit of just running to the front and quick scoping too much, and thus getting killed a lot. But uh, this time, I'm, uh, I'm being a bit more careful. And also, this time, I'm not playing with any distractions. I'm playing just the game and the audio, and my mouth is shut, and that's why I'm doing so well compared to my normal how to win casuals. So then I decide to take the high ground this time. And it actually pays off because right here I see a spy. And there he is. He dies. And I have a shot on the medic. I miss it. I'm taking heavy damage. So I'm just gonna go grab this. If this heavy would have shot at me, I would have died. But I really want this medic dead. But I get the heavy instead because the pirate did work. And oh, hello. I died. That's okay. That was a pyro that was showing that he had the back scratcher, so the medic shouldn't waste time healing him instead of just letting him grab health packs. And here I'm making a dumb mistake. I'm like, oh, an engineer that doesn't see me. I'll melee him. This was stupid. And then we somehow lose the point because the pyros went on a journey. I'm running with my scout friend. Here we are approaching. Point again, so we see the medic, I miss him. The medic gives me some overheal, that's nice. Uh, I see that this pyro is taking some damage, is heavy, overextended, and got himself killed. There's a tons of shit. Now my health's almost faded. Medic's very busy with this pyro that's taking damage. I call the medic, I don't get anything. And I die. Don't think overheal will have, would have helped that much, I still would have died. So, nothing wrong to the medic there. However, if it was a situation where I would have survived if I had the heal, I would have been pretty mad. So now the enemy team is actually putting up some kind of resistance here. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna peek through here. I hear heavy shots. That means there's a heavy there. Not sure if it's ours or theirs. It's ours. And I'm just gonna be assisting. There's the enemy heavy. Shoot him in the head. That's a body shot. Shoot him in the head. That's a head shot. You know, random crits are fair and balanced and all, but, uh, you know, hit registration, oof. That's the random crit for sniper rifle, man. So then we're capping again. Enemy team seems to be absent. There's a single demo man who comes in all by himself. There's a spy. Who then instantly shows that he was a spy. The medic pops, doesn't die, so I'm gonna chase this guy. My SMG taking him out, and oh no, there's a soldier that knows what he's doing, taking high ground, and I'm dead. And then they capture and they win, so that was how to win casual. I always think like when I'm 
when I'm recording these that these will be so useful and I will say so much inf like interesting stuff for what I'm thinking from when I'm playing. But in reality, I forget most of that stuff. And I literally just play these matches. 